Hey guys, welcome back to the part 2 of the video where we are going to create YouTube Shorts using your existing videos. Now you might have a video which you have recorded using your computer screen from your PC or laptop or you might have any existing videos that you have recorded using your camera. In part 1 of the video, we looked at the crop function where we cropped a certain section of the screen and created a YouTube Short. But the problem with that is you might have things floating around different parts of the screen and you probably want to capture all those actions and create a YouTube shot. Let me show you an example what I'm trying to say. Now I have this video, I've created a shot. So in this video, some action is actually happening in this part. So if I play this video, you might notice that it's actually moving into different parts of the screen. So you know click the delete cells and it's now coming back to the different part of the Excel sheet that I'm actually using to creating the video. So we're going to look at how to actually create this video or YouTube shorts from your screen recordings if you have recorded from your um, computer or PC or from any existing videos that you might have. Okay, enough talking, let's go back to the action. So let's just close this window and I've got this video here. Let me play this once again for you. So I have this video where I'm actually deleting some cells and creating some actions. So basically I'm just highlighting the, you know, um, the contents and pressing F5 button and then, you know, the dialog box appearing here and then, you know, some action is happening in this area and probably somewhere here. So we actually want to capture all of that and create a YouTube shot. Okay. So how we do that? So in order to create a shot for a video something like that we need to go to more tools so once again i'm actually using movavi video suit right um so i click on more tools and under that i have um an option for zoom in so last time we actually used crop and rotate function but this time i'm actually going to use pan and zoom so I'm going to use zoom in for that. So this is the zoom in function. So what I need to do is I'll hold on to that and drag and drop onto my video timeline. Now you might notice that this is actually 16 by 9 format. So that's why this box is actually coming up like this. So we don't want that. We want to create a short which we can actually use for YouTube shorts or TikTok videos or even to post on Instagram. So let's delete this section. We just highlight that and hit delete, highlight that and delete. Okay. So first of all, we need to change the format. We need it to be nine by 16 format, right? Once we do that, it's actually going to create nine by 16 format, which is perfect for YouTube shorts. Now, obviously we have all these blank sections, but don't worry, we're going to create a perfect YouTube shot. Now I'm going to use the zoom in function again. Make sure your timeline is highlighted. You click on that and highlight your timeline and then I'll click on zoom in function and drag and drop onto the video timeline. Now it has actually created a couple of dots on the timeline. That's the second dot. And if I click on the first dot, I can see there is a box for the first dot and then there is a box for the second dot. So we click on the first dot and we move the box to the area where we want to create a video capture or a, or a YouTube shot, right? So that's our first area. And the second area is actually somewhere there. If we leave it there, what's going to happen is, uh, let me, let me play the video for you. You will notice that. So if I play the video, so it's not showing the first section as it's actually moving towards the second dot It's actually going to go into an area where the second box is. So what we need to do is basically drag and drop the second box and align it with the first box so that we are telling when the zoom in function starts from here and ends there. We want to stay in this screen. Now this screen, this section basically kind of ends up to here and that's the area where we want to basically capture for for this zoom in function so let's just play the video again if i play it so it's going to stay in this section and show me what is actually happening there 
but obviously you know after that there are some things happening on the other side which are not captured to capture those screens what we need to do is basically we go back to the zoom in function again and then click and drag and drop onto the timeline now we basically wanted to um, you know create a kind of a transition it's actually going from there to there so just keep um, some gap between these two dots so that you know your users will notice that okay it's actually happening within the same kind of screen you have to go left or right right so I've got my second zoom in function I click on the first dot and then I move the box where I want the screen to be captured so that's my second box and the sorry the first box then I click on the second dot again and I move it and align it to the first section the, the first box obviously because there is some action happening over there and we want to capture it so that's there right so I can actually move it a little bit further because everything is actually happening in that area so which is fine and we just go up to there so let's just play it again and see what happens so it's happening nicely it's now moving on to the right hand side and I'm actually doing something and after that I'm actually moving on to the further right so now to capture the other side we will drop the zoom in function again let's just drag and drop and put on the timeline and that's our first box and we actually want to appear here because our arrow is somewhere around here and we just put it there and the second box again uh, we're just gonna put it there so it actually showing us something is happening in this part and then let's just go and play it again let's just move it a bit further because the I can see that there's this box which is coming up um, in this area so let's just go and play again and see what happens so this time it's happening nicely I'm clicking the blanks okay and it's going to the other side I'm deleting the cells now it's actually coming up with the dialog box somewhere around here so I just go back there and we need to now put another um, zoom in function so we drag and drop a zoom in function here and then we click on that dot and move the box again to this area and do the same with the second box drag and drop and realign it with the first box and that's fine so let's just go back again and play it so this time I'm clicking on the delete cells and now it's coming back to this side. Once I hit that, I want it to go back to the main action area that where we're actually deleting all the cells. So go back to the zoom in function again and drop it down there and then click on the first arrow. Let's put it a bit further so that there is a bit of a transition happening and drag and drop the box again to this area because we want to end our shot here and same for this function let's just drag it to the end because we're not moving any parts here so click on the dot again and realign it with the first one so that you know it's actually um, all aligned and we know that it's actually ending up there so I think that's done so let's just go back to the start and play the video and then this time we play the video you know um, you know we are highlighting the cells here and then we're going to do something and it's now going to take us to the different side of the screen which is there and then we're doing something over there clicking and then it's actually moving up to a different area and then deleting the cells and now it has taken us back to the main screen so this is the another way of how you can actually create shots using the Movavi video suit pan and zoom function is perfect you can try the other functions as well if you are using so you know this way you can actually create some static um, YouTube shorts um, which I mean you know just using the crop function with uh, where some action is happening in one uh, you know section of your um, screen but if, you, if something is happening between you know different sections of your screen you can actually definitely use the zoom in function to create your YouTube shorts now once your shot is completed what you have to do now obviously you want to put some text around it 
within the Movavi suite, right, um, there are lots of different um, functions that you can actually use. So for example, you know, if you want to put some text or some text boxes. So for example, you know, there are some, um, that's the logo and probably under the, um, I think it's under the different section. So I've got some, um, they, you know, some emojis, for example, you know, once your video has finished, you can just drag and drop an image and this will just highlight over there. And similarly, you can actually create some, um, you know, shapes. If you want to highlight some text, you can put some shapes over there. So that's the rectangle there. If you want to put some text in there, then obviously, you know, um, you can do that as well. So just go to the text area. You want to put a simple text on this box and I just put it under there. And that's our text. And we just kind of sitting on, on that box itself. So if you play the video, um, you know, it just kind of um, gonna pop up on there. So probably need to move it up there so that it actually appears on the box itself. So, you know, there are a lot of different options and functions, but the, the idea was to create a shot. Um, you know, once you have the shot, um, you can actually create and, and manage different sections or text on your shot and simply export and upload it. Now, once you're done with your shot, um, we just need to click on the export button and make sure your dimensions and resolution is basically 1080 by 1920. And you click on the start button. It's now going to export the shot and as a MP4 file. So once you have the shot ready, um, you can just simply go onto your um, YouTube channel and upload it. So for example, you know, I have my youtube channel open here so if i just go and you know once i have the video ready i'll click on that i go upload videos and i select files and from the directory that i have on my pc so which is kind of excel shorts and i've got the mp4 ready i select the mp4 click open and then it will just start uploading my shot onto the youtube video and i can add some additional description and title and stuff and once you're happy just keep clicking next it's going to ask you, you know, a few more options. And once you're done, you can just simply upload your shot onto um, a YouTube channel. And that's it, guys. So that's the easiest way to create shots using your existing videos. If you have or if you have done screen recording from your computer, laptop or PC, um, that's how you can create YouTube shots from your PC or from your existing videos. I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the video. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below in the comment section and make sure to watch the part one of the video if you want to use the crop function to create YouTube shorts. That's it for today. I hope to see you next time. Thank you guys.